The introduction of the scientific paper titled, Entropic Surface Segregation from Athermal Polymer Blends, Polymer Flexibility vs. Bulkiness, provides an overview of the study on the entropic surface segregation of athermal binary polymer blends. The introduction begins by highlighting the importance of understanding surface properties in various technological applications that involve polymer surfaces. It is mentioned that surface composition differs from bulk composition due to surface segregation, which is influenced by both enthalpic and entropic considerations. The focus of the study is on the entropic effects in high molecular weight polymers, where the segregation behavior is controlled by balanced enthalpic preferences. The introduction mentions previous experimental observations of surface segregation in polyolefin D-block copolymers and binary polyolefin blends, where the more compact component of the polymer segregates to the surface. These observations were supported by self-consistent field theory SCFT, calculations, which predicted a positive surface excess for the more compact polymer component. However, the introduction highlights the need for extending SCFT to incorporate conformationally asymmetric polymers with small persistence lengths relative to their contour lengths. In this case, the segregation at the surface depends separately on polymer flexibility, characterized by persistence length, backquote P, and bulkiness, characterized by contour length, backquote C. The introduction suggests that the effect of bulkiness is more pronounced, and under specific conditions, can lead to anomalous surface segregation of the more extended polymer. The introduction briefly discusses the theoretical framework and previous simulations that have investigated the entropic surface segregation of polymer blends. It mentions the use of semi-flexible polymers and the distinction between conformational asymmetry arising from differences in flexibility and bulkiness. The introduction also mentions the limitations of previous simulations and the need for more efficient mean field calculations, such as SCFT. Finally, the introduction outlines the specific focus of the study, which is on athermal binary blends with small degrees of conformational asymmetry. It describes the theoretical model used, which considers worm-like chains as the polymer model, and explains the numerical methods used to solve the field equations and calculate the polymer concentrations near the surface. In summary, the introduction provides an overview of the importance of understanding surface segregation in polymer blends and highlights the need for studying the role of polymer flexibility and bulkiness in entropic surface segregation. It also briefly discusses previous experimental and theoretical findings and outlines the specific focus and methods of the study. Shows the excess concentration of the more compact component at the surface which reaches 8% even though the relative difference in statistical segment lengths is only 2%. Dot. The results show that the excesses are reduced by about 40% compared to the Gaussian polymers. A. The results show a reduction of about 70% in the excesses compared to the Gaussian polymers. B. Demonstrates the collapse of the profiles when scaled with respect to the relative difference in flexibility and the average end-to-end -end length. Dot. The coefficients depend on the average persistence length and satisfy the inequality Fp less than Fc, indicating that the surface affinity for bulky polymers due to a difference in bulkiness generally dominates the surface affinity for flexible polymers due to a difference in flexibility. Is plotted in. B. Demonstrates that the profile shape remains universal regardless of the sign of the excess amplitude, except for cases close to zero excess. Dot. The results show that both polymers tend to align parallel to the surface, with stiffer polymers aligning more strongly. The positive values of the order parameters at negative positions can be attributed to chain ends sticking out of the surface. In summary, the results of the paper demonstrate the segregation behavior of binary polymer blends with conformational asymmetries. The surface excess concentration is influenced by the difference in statistical segment lengths and the average end-to-end -end length of the polymers. The surface affinity is found to be dominated by bulkiness rather than flexibility. Anomalous surface segregation occurs when the more extended polymer with a larger statistical segment length is favored at the surface, which is dependent on the stiffness of the polymer. The concentration profiles collapse when scaled with respect to the relative differences in statistical segment lengths and the average end-to-end -end length. The authors of the paper extended previous calculations on entropic surface segregation from Gaussian polymers to worm-like polymers. 
They used a sigmoidal concentration profile to model the polymer, air surface. The persistence lengths of the polymers were comparable to the width of the surface but smaller than the contour lengths. They found that the surface affinity of the more compact polymer with the smaller persistence length and or shorter contour length is generally predicted by the worm-like model. The surface excess of the polymer follows the universal profile predicted for Gaussian polymers, but the amplitude of the excess depends on the differences in flexibility and bulkiness of the polymers. The authors also found that the segregation is affected more by the bulkiness than the flexibility of the polymers. They conclude that under appropriate conditions, anomalous surface segregation of the more extended polymer can occur. The authors suggest that further testing should be done with simulations to validate these predictions. If you are an author or copyright holder for the work presented in this video and you have any issue with the existence or contents of this video, please let me know.